get a lot of our information from the media. A lot of us get it from social media, and that's why people's eyes are opening. But a lot of people still rely on the BBC. Thanks very much, to Chair, and thanks to all of you for coming on this fantastic demonstration today of solidarity with the Palestinian people and with the people of Gaza in particular and especially to all the Muslim and Jewish solidarity groups who have shown such fantastic commitment to the Palestinian cause. Now that solidarity is needed more than ever. There has been a revulsion all over the world at the carnage and destruction that has been unleashed in Gaza. And it is so great that the political elites have started to speak out at last. We've had resignations, we've had demands inside the government for a halt to arms sales to Israel. But the politicians and the media would still have you believe that the conflict in Gaza is all about Hamas's rockets and that only Israel has the right to defend itself. But that is to turn reality on its head. It's not just that Israel provoked this conflict with the aim of breaking the moves to Palestinian unity and that there are no rockets from the West Bank and that the attacks and killings there continue just the same. It's that Israel is in illegal occupation of Palestinian land, including of Gaza, by air, blockaded by air, land and sea, which it is colonizing and crushing by force of arms. Israel has no right to defend itself from territories it illegally occupies. It only has an obligation to withdraw. The Palestinians are an occupied people. They have the right to resist. They have the right to defend themselves from the occupiers. It's not terrorism to fight back. The terrorism is the killing of civilians by Israel on an industrial scale that we've seen in the last month. The pulverization of Gaza is in any case only the latest episode in a crime that goes back decades. Britain has a special responsibility in this tragedy. In this city, during the First World War that is being commemorated this week, a British Foreign Secretary, on behalf of one people, promised a second people the land of a third. And that unleashed the mass colonization the expulsion and the occupation of Palestinian land that has led us to where we are today. And at every stage of this tragedy, it is Britain and the United States that have themselves invaded and occupied Muslim and Arab lands for more than a decade, that have given unwavering support to the dispossession and the subjection of the Palestinian people with arms funding and political support. The horror of Gaza is a crime made in Washington and London as well as by the Israeli government in Jerusalem. But global public opinion is moved decisively in support of Palestinian rights. Now we have to turn that support into unrelenting pressure to lift the siege of Gaza, impose sanctions on the occupier both from above and below, and finally, to secure rights that have been so long denied to the Palestinian people. Thank you very much. Thank you.